Today I'm going to seed this bed with mushroom spores. And so the first thing I'm going to do is widen this bed out and put a new edge on it and then get some fresh mulch on it. And then I'll start layering the mushroom in. I have a bag of sawdust spawn from field and forest of wine cat mushrooms. And I chose this particular bed because um, this is the north side of um, this building and it gets quite a bit of shade. Uh, the bed tends, tends to stay pretty moist because it's not in the direct sun. Um, and in the winter time, about where I'm currently putting the edge on is about where um, the snow melt stops. So when we have snow cover and the, the sun comes out in the winter and melts all the snow off the ground, the space from about where the edge is into the building stays covered in snow. Um, and so, you know, I know that it's a nice shady spot and the mushrooms should be happy. The product that I have is a sawdust spawn um, and it can be layered within wood chips or straw or both. In this case, um, I'm starting the new bed, I'm going to layer in a fresh layer of wood chips and then um, cover the bed with the mushroom spawn kind of broken up and then wood chips and then mushroom spawn and then wood chips and just kind of create a sandwich layer of them. And hopefully that okay. uh, gives them enough to feed off of and Clean produce up. mushrooms for us. And I'm pretty excited about that. We have some friends that have had mushrooms, uh, wine cat mushrooms under their fruit trees for a while now. And they seem to really enjoy them. And so I'm like, excited to give them a try right and see how they do on our property. Um, I'm also really excited to see how this bed is coming together. Um, the edge that's going to be on it and kind of the nice curved shape that it's going to have. And so that's pretty exciting. Um, really just trimming up the edge. We're really just starting to get into summer here, um, kind of the beginning of summer. Um, and so the humidity is starting to peak And this day was just kind of the beginning of summer humidity. And it's not even the peak of what it's going to be like. That looks but better, huh? Right now, as you kind of come out of dry and been. calm um, oh, into <laughs> super humid was the uh, a shock. And, and, First thing I'm going to um, do is just put down It's on. always rough. First, layer of mulch. Uh, a couple days. And so there's the bed shape. It's all done. It's all well. It's all bare soil. It's not true. It'll, it'll obviously do more. Um, just starting to layer on a fresh layer of wood chips and really just get the bed kind of, you start to get, the bed starts to look really nice when you put that first little light. layer of wood chips on. Cover. Um, and I think this was two or three cartfuls just to put the first layer on but it really really starts off the bed and it makes it look really nice and um i use a super fine shredded hardwood um the wood's aged over winter and then shredded in the spring and it makes a really nice product that's almost like a compost mulch combination and i really enjoy it um it seems to feed the plants really well uh and and it does pretty good for me and so I think it'll be a really good product to put the mushrooms in since it seems to break down pretty easily and then the mushrooms will obviously feed off of it for a period of time. This is what the bag looks like. It's been in my fridge for a few months. The instructions said not to put it out until um, after the last frost. Um, and then I'm just reading that it says to put some mushroom down and then layer some mulch and then put some more spores down and then layer some more mulch. And then... Just make sure that it stays moist. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to put a couple layers in and then get it all watered in. This bed may fruit as soon as the summer. It says two to ten months um, and that spring planting really um, can give you mushrooms in the fall and so I'm hopeful of that. I'm hopeful that getting these in early enough will get, um, we'll have mushrooms starting to come up sometime this year. If not, we should have mushrooms next year after they've really started to grow and colonize um, these wood chips. And so that will be exciting. I'm excited to see what we get.